Hey everyone, I want to tell you about a little tip today. Um, I'm working with a family who's new to AAC, so I've been doing some of the remote editing. Uh, these are some of the beautiful things about remote editing, so I can just be at home. Now, I could do this on my PC at mycloudaac.com and log in with the username there, or I can go into the free app, go to Publish New, and log in there. So either place. So what I'm wanting to do right now is the family is wanting a, a light tech page. So he already has his communication pages that he's using, but it, he's wanting to use it in the bathtub. So I was thinking a body parts page is awesome, which we already have, but I want to have more vocabulary to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my copy tool and then um, go to his account. I want to go to the page that has the body parts. So I'm just gonna search body. And then here's the body parts. I'm gonna select the same account since I'm copying to. I wanna make sure all the images copy over and hit copy. Now I'm gonna wanna rename this because it is gonna be a duplicate. I could also use this page and link it to something else but like I said this is just going to be a light tech page that we're just going to print out so i'm going to call this one child one bath since it's going to be his bath time page set so i just hit update now i want to go back into authoring tools and i'm going to edit that page because like i said i want to have more vocabulary on it other than just body parts, but body parts is a great one for bath time. So child one bath, it's gonna pull it up here. So we've got all our body parts. I wanna add a couple more columns. So with our motor planning, typically the verbs are on the left side. So I wanna stay consistent with that. So I'm gonna add some verbs you might use. Um, since I am making it a light tech page, I can clear out this link to the plurals and I could put something else there. It gives me an extra cell. Um, I'm gonna go into edit and wash is gonna be you know a common word to use. So I could do one of two things. I could either choose a file from my iPad if I already have one um, in another video that I have, I show how you can take a picture of your user doing an action and then get rid of the background to make it a clean white background. So you could do that as well. Or if you just want to use the wash picture that's already in here, you can see we have hundreds and hundreds of pictures and they're all alphabetical. So I'm just going to scroll down to our wash and it could be um, wash hair, wash face wash cloth. I'm just going to go ahead and put wash hair and I'm going to put the word wash. Now think about the user. If you know sometimes when they're merging communicators you're teaching that vocabulary you're going to want to use the single words. However there are occasions where you're going to want to put a phrase or a whole sentence to make the communication faster. So it really depends on the user. So I've got my word wash. I might want to add words like bubbles, this is fun. Remember you want to add more than just verbs and nouns. You want to add comments, things like that. So once I'm done editing, I'm going to, since it's a light tech, I'm going to publish it to my iPad so I can take a picture. However, Again, with remote editing, it's a wonderful thing because if this was actually going to be a high, um, a usable dynamic page, I would just email the family and say, hey, I'm done with the bath page or updating the favorites page. Go ahead and go in and publish. So the family would go in to their app, their free app. They'd go to publish new. They'd click the pages that you updated hit merge and publish. So they would be doing all of this at their house through our free app. So you can see how fast that went, especially when it's just one page, it goes super fast. So I'm gonna search for my page. Nice little feature up here where you can search for pages that have these words on it. Um, click on it, 
and then I would just take a picture of it and then I would um, edit it and then just send it to my printer and it is uh, laminated as a low-tech picture so here's your tip for the day we're always happy to provide demos and give you other tips so just email us at support at alexacomtech.com. Have a great day.